A former Central Islip resident who spent 27 and a half years in prison for crimes he says he didn't commit has filed a $55 million lawsuit against Suffolk County and 10 former police officers. News 12's Liz Burke is at a gas station in Central Islip where one of those robberies took place. Liz. Doug, Rodolfo Taylor was 24 years old when he was wrongfully charged for a series of gas station robberies in 1984. One of the gas stations being this one, this Shell station on Route 111 in Central Islip. Evidence pointing to other suspects in the robberies was never turned over to the defense. I remember being made fun of because my brother went to jail. Family members of Rodolfo Taylor sharing their stories about what life was like without him. The 61-year-old man, originally from Central Islip, spent over 27 years in jail for robberies at two gas stations in Suffolk County in 1984, which he had no part of. And some days it's just unbearable. Taylor is suing Suffolk County and a series of individual police officers for the wrongful conviction. He says while he sat in prison, his life stood still. I miss their sweet 16s. I miss their weddings, graduations, funerals. funerals. In January of this year, Taylor's convictions were vacated and the charges against him were dismissed. This came after an investigation by the Suffolk District Attorney's Conviction Integrity Unit found several witnesses to the robberies originally identified other suspects. Mr. Taylor suffered 27 and a half years in prison because the Suffolk County Police Department and a number of its detectives hid, hid information from him that would have exonerated him. The lawsuit seeks two million dollars for each year Rodolfo Taylor was in prison. A spokesperson for Suffolk County Executive Steve Ballone says the county does not comment on pending litigation. In Central Islip, Liz Burke, News 12, Long Island.